like to hear. And the imagery is is all about conversions. You know, so you, you do a lot of work as an Amazon seller just trying to get people to look at your listing, right? Running ads, optimizing titles, main images. Um, that's all part of that, you know, that effort to drive traffic to your listing. But then the they show up at your listing, right? So you've convinced them, yay, I'm gonna go check this product out. And now's your opportunity to sell. You haven't won yet. They just clicked. You know, you got to get them to buy it. And so that's where the imagery really is shines, right? It's, its purpose is to bring them from consideration to buying. Um, and you do that through a series of images. And a lot of sellers uh, content themselves with doing the bare minimum. So that's like photography, you know, showing, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on products. And I've talked to like, or photography rather, I've talked to some like really seasoned Amazon sellers who don't really think about the difference between photography and imagery, right? We all do, we do imagery at, at Graphic Rhythm, you know, and we take, and photography is a component of that. And so when you're, if you're just focusing on, do my photos look good? Or am I complying with Amazon's policies, which is like, you know, showing off an ingredient label or anything like that, then you're missing an opportunity to sell to your customers. So, you know, customers show up on your listing and they've got basically four things that we want to look at and communicate. The first is what do people love? Uh, so you wanna communicate what do people love about this product and make sure that you're highlighting that those things are showing uh, for your product. What do people hate, particularly about your competitors listing and you wanna downplay those or, or you know, give them confidence that it's not there. What do people expect? Now, this is a really important one that also gets missed. So you show up with a set of expectations when you're a shopper, right? You know, let's say diaper bag, you've got like a shopping list of features that you're looking for when you show up on that listing. Like, does it have the wipes holder? Uh, does it have the bottle thermal pocket? You know, like all that stuff. Is so, it washable? Is it waterproof? Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like you've got your list of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, you want to make sure you address the expectations. And then uh, the last thing is what are people confused about? So um, you looked at, you do that, uh, answer that by looking at the question and answer section of the listing and saying to yourself, okay, what are people asking about all the time? What's missing? What, what aren't they getting? 